cold out here, isn't it? Yeah, I'm cold too. Okay, got the ticket plenty of time today. That's good, there's no rush then at least. I'm gonna head up to the convenience store, get some breakfast and foods and stuff so I have everything just in case. I'm not gonna be able to get it later. Time is gonna be a little tight today. First five hours on train to one of the very northern cities, it's called Wakanai. Then we're gonna get off real quick, get on a bus an hour away to the northernmost point. Fairly uneventful ride, two hours left. It's beautiful outside, just nothing but snow as far as the eye can see. It's funny, for a, for a country that's so dense in population, it's weird to come out here and just like see nothing. I'm not even sure those are like farms and stuff, it might just be fields of nothing. Officially the last person in the reserve seating car. One more stop, and then I'm there. Then I've got 30 minutes to catch a bus, and then 50 minutes to get out to the Cape, and then I have 40 minutes to see the Cape before the final bus goes back to the city. So it's gonna be a lot of traveling for just one possibly very underwhelming moment. <laughs> Honestly though, I've been on this train for so long at this point, I'm almost ready to just walk there. 
it would take hours, but man, five hour train ride, even if you don't have to do anything, it's still no joke. That song probably means the next stop is the last stop. Yes. So I thought it would be pretty cold, and it is colder than I imagined. <laughs> okay, bus ticket acquired. I've got about 30 minutes until the bus leaves. Wow, this is a forbidding landscape that makes it hard to believe anybody lives here, let alone people actually have stuff going on. Like there's people in suits and stuff, presumably doing some sort of work. But I'm like, what work is to be done here? I just, I don't understand how the world works, apparently. Oh, good to get off that train though. Oh my God. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, I don't even know what you call this, landscape? Yeah, landscape. It's funny, man, I consider winter my favorite season, but it's pretty much just for the aesthetics. I love the snow, I love the way it looks, I love the way it sounds, I love the way it smells, but I'm not a particular fan of the cold. I would infinitely rather be sweating than being freezing cold, but man, there's nothing better than the winter, man. Oh, I love it. Look at this, look at this, What? A, where even am I right now, man? I'm almost in Russia. What sort of different physiology you must have to have to be able to swim in that water? Like, how do those ducks swim in that water, man? Dude, this is like... Why are humans here? <laughs> it's just weird, you know? Like, what sort of business is going on here besides farming? Oh, man, it's cold. Okay, I think I'm gonna wait inside the bus stop for the rest of the time. Oh, it's, it's a little chilly. I didn't even notice that earlier. It's written in Russian. We'll see it pretty soon once we get to the northern point. But the islands north of here, called the Sakhalin Islands, it is a, a Russian island now. It used to be, I think, either in dispute or Japan used to own it, but now it's Russia. So I imagine there's some overlap with Russia and Japanese here. On the bus. Almost there.
now even colder and windier than I imagined. Good God! Woo. Woo. Wow, this is a, a cold and a wind I've literally never experienced before. Can't even talk, my mouth is frozen. Pretty cool though. Oh, I'm seeking refuge next to this stone wall. If you just go peek your head out just a little bit, you can feel the unbelievable cold and wind. Okay, well, it's not really a big deal that the bus is gonna come in like 30 minutes because who can spend longer than 30 minutes out here anyway? And apparently that sign said that this place has springtime splendor. Now I can imagine it, but man, this is currently not springtime splendor by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, in that direction, you can actually see the Sakhalin Islands. I do know that it was um, contested by Japan and Russia back in the day. And then uh, World War II is when Russia finally took it over completely. Okay, I think I got time to go check out the other monuments. Holy cow, dude, the wind. Wind whipping at my face. I'm on a boat. <laughs> that sign says not to feed the foxes. So apparently there are foxes out here. Don't ask me how or why, because I don't know. Oh, oh mama, oh mama. Wow, that is amazing, dude. Look at that. There's all sorts of stuff up here. Anchorage, Colin, Philippines, France, Tokyo. Oh man, Tokyo seems like it's a billion miles away now. Looks like it's an old naval watchtower. Wow! Okay, let's go check. Oh, just had to step in front of this. Blocks the wind very nicely. Wow, this is awesome, dude. Let's go check out the other monuments. I'm gonna assume that this monument right now is uh, under repairs or something. I don't think that would be a normal monument. Okay. We don't have much time left. We don't have much time. We gotta check these all out. sucks that so many of these monuments and stuff it's just humans doing things to other humans as if the elements weren't enough right peace bell it's very peaceful <laughs> as if the elements weren't enough you know it's not like we humans don't have enough problems as it is We're causing all these problems for ourselves We're running a little low on time let's go to the bathroom head back down so the big guy here, the crane looking thing, was for flight KE-007, Korean Air. Uh, this is the future of our children bell here, and then the world peace bell. Oh man, Whew. Yeah, this place needs some peace. 
This is nothing but cold air, baby. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I've never been anywhere as cold as this. It's not so much that it's just cold, it's also that the wind is so strong, you can't have any exposed skin because it freezes immediately. Like my hand right now is ungloved and I'm about to drop the camera. <laughs> Okay, and looks like this La Perouse character, that is definitely not how you pronounce it, discovered some straits here. And then this, these two, Akebono statue, this is to commemorate Hokkaido reaching one million tons of milk production and one half million head of dairy cattle. All right, I gotta go take shelter. There's like a windmill looking building over there. I'm gonna just uh, ignore that. So hopefully that wasn't the coolest thing here. Okay, at the hotel, I met a dude, a Japanese dude, who was also traveling to the northernmost point. We're both staying at the same hotel, strangely enough. Oh man, it's good to be We're in the warm place though. Okay, where is the light switch? Here it is. Wow. Okay, not bad, not bad. TV, a little heater, a little table, place to sleep. And most importantly, a shower. Shablam! Okay, now I gotta take a shower and warm up and then get some food. Totally worth the effort to get up here. Amazing, awesome experience staying in this cool hotel. Come on, son. Come on. <laughs> oh man, you know I gotta put on the robe. Why even have the robe if you're not gonna use it? Okay, man, hostels are great, but there's nothing quite like having your own hotel room where you can just throw all your crap on the floor. Oh, this is nice. Okay, I had to take a shower super badly. That was the best shower ever. So let me properly introduce you to the hotel room. So over here, we've got the Ginkan where you put your shoes and stuff. Slippers, and maybe I'm supposed to wear those. The bathroom, simple, shower, sink, toilet. And you flip this lever, one side is for the shower, and the other side is for the sink, but it's the same controls. That's kind of cool. And in here, got a bed on the floor, a futon. Table with a little chair right in front of the TV directly from 2001. My stuff, heater. Now let's see what type of view we got. Now this was supposed to be a seaside view. I imagine it probably is during the day. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go explore a little bit after I take a break here and then also get some food. There's like some sort of dome just out here. See, tomorrow my train leaves at 6.30, so I'm not gonna have any time to see anything in the morning. I just need to get up and go right to the station. I also need to go get my ticket. Traveling is great, but it is it's very tiring. I'll tell you one thing though, if my body can have separate thoughts from my brain, it's probably thinking, why? Are you going back out there? Please do not take us back out there. Sorry, buddy, we gotta go do it. Let's go see what I have now learned is called the Breakwater Dome. This is to protect the port from windstorms and high waves paired with a 545 meter sand groin. So this is 1330 meters for the breakwater dome itself. Okay, let's go check it out. You 
know, it makes me wonder, are certain things hard-coded into the DNA of humans to just see something like this, this arctic water and nighttime, and just want to get as far away as possible from it? Like those crab fishermen and stuff, they're in that for like months out of the year. How do they do that, man? Wow, dude, this is a heck of a sight. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this. Also, it definitely does break the wind. That is very nice. This is the type of place that if this wasn't Japan, it'd be kind of scary to be at. You're like, I don't know what sort of dark machinations would be going on here. <laughs> Now I believe over to my right here is a park. Let's see. Yeah, this is just Kita Bohate Dome Park. Which Kita Bohate, man, I can't say that. <laughs> it's just North Breakwater Dome, I guess. Wow, look at this thing, man. This is crazy. Wow. Like there's animals and stuff too. Animals survive here. I just don't get it, man. How does anything exist with weather conditions like this? It seems completely unbelievable. Yeah, I guess it's at the end. More water. Okay, there's no time to lose. I gotta go eat, get some snacks for tomorrow and get that ticket. Beautiful city here, Watkanai, but also very brutal. It was nice seeing you, but I'll be glad to go. <laughs> Let's get out of here! Okay, I ended up eating here. Uh, I think it's Hitoshi no Mise. It was delicious. Very good ramen, 700 yen, right next to the station. Recommended. It turns out I don't need to get any snacks for tomorrow because this convenience store is right next to the station. It opens at 6 a.m. My train is not until 6.26, so that's perfect. I'll get to the station at 6, get some food, hop on that train, and then spend like a year on the train. What is that dead thing on the floor? Oh man, what a great, great little town, dude. I love winter. Welcome to winter. Welcome to the vlog. What am I talking about? <laughs> okay, back to the hotel. I got this apple. It's just, I haven't had any fiber since I got here, basically. <laughs> this apple was like $1.50. So this better be the best apple of my life. And of course, I got some sweets that, it's just those convenience stores, man, they make the sweets so appealing and they're individually wrapped so you don't feel like you're getting a ton. Got a cream puff with whipped cream and custard and a cheese bread thing. Oh, come on, forget about the apple. What, who needs an apple or fiber, man? She doesn't have sugar. Okay, that was expensive, but that is a good apple. Look at that. Look at that. Should anybody be eating this right now? No. Nobody should be eating this right now. And should anybody be eating this pillowy looking cheese bread cake thing? No. Nobody should be eating this. Mm. Oh man. That's good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider checking out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash adventure. We also have t-shirts now on our Teespring page. I'll see you in the next one. Mm. 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 Not bad at all. It's good.
good tired though, because when you go to sleep at night, it is lights out. Lights out. Where's my sock?